A bold pronouncement by Malaysia's opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim, whose reformist government was removed from power seven months ago. Conclusively, we have a, a strong, formidable majority. I'm not talking about four, five, six. I'm talking about much more than that. His next move, and possibly hurdle, is to meet the king and convince the royal ruler that he commands the confidence of the majority in parliament and should be appointed prime minister. Anwar says he's been granted an audience with the king, but the meeting had to be postponed because the monarch is in hospital. Anwar's Alliance of Hope coalition was elected in 2018, defeating a governing alliance known as Barisan Nasional that had been in power for more than 60 years. He was in prison for sodomy at the time on what he says were trumped up charges. He was pardoned days after the election. The premiership went to Mahathir Mohamad, a former prime minister who had returned from retirement to defeat Barisan Nasional, on the understanding that he would hand over power within two years. But before that could happen, the government collapsed. In trying to take power, Anwar is using a tactic Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin used in February. Muhyiddin and his supporters left the then-governing coalition and joined forces with politicians defeated in the 2018 election, including former leader Najib Razak, who was convicted of corruption a few months ago. In response, Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin issued a statement saying Anwar's claims remain just that, until he can prove otherwise, and that he remains the rightful Prime Minister. Muhyiddin had earlier in a televised speech on the pandemic appeared to address Anwar's announcement indirectly. I appeal to you brothers and sisters to reject the blind actions of some politicians who deliberately want to affect the political stability and the country's economic recovery plan which is being implemented well at the moment. Analysts say the current scenario could develop in several ways. The Prime Minister could ask for Parliament to be dissolved, triggering snap elections. But victory for him and his allies is far from assured. There was a statement made by one of his component parties, uh, the former uh, leading party in Malaysia, who controlled the government for almost over 60 years, UMNO, uh, and they've indicated a very sort of mixed signal. So I think they're pushing for dissolution. And it's not clear that they're fully backing Muhyiddin Yassin. So we're going to have to see how this plays out. She also says Muhyiddin is unlikely to step down. The third scenario is that the political jostling will continue and politics in Malaysia remains in a state of flux. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.